you're not more attractive to men because you're in your 20s. <music> Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, nice to meet you. My name is CJ. Please don't make this video your last by clicking the subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, hi my love, welcome back. Okay, today's video honestly is a rant. I saw a video that ticked me off and I said, we are going to talk about it. You know, we can't get into it. And you know what's funny? I saw this video like two weeks ago, but I have not stopped thinking about it. And after I saw that video, I've been seeing more videos related to it. So before I start to talk and start to actually address this matter, let's listen to the video. Guys, I actually cannot believe this video exists on the internet. I am too shocked to believe that people think like this. The fact that there are people who actually think that being in your 30s is actually a bad thing and it means you're old and being old is now categorized as a bad thing that your life ends once you hit 30. Still blows my mind. I can't comprehend it. I'm sorry. I don't know who gave, I don't know who's giving people this kind of mentality. And this is why there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on girls in their 20s. The worst part is that this mostly happens between women. That's what hurts me more. The fact that the, this happens mostly between women because men don't do this. You can't see men coming to age shame their fellow men. No, 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 no. A man will not come and age shame his fellow man. No, it will not happen. You won't see it on the internet. But women oh my god you're too old what you shouldn't be doing what grandma this... and i don't even understand i don't i don't i don't understand where the mentality is coming from because number one are you saying like you're not going to grow up like do you think like your life stops at 20 do you think like you're going to remain frozen at 21 do you honestly think that getting to 30 getting to 40 is actually not a good thing i don't think people realize that growing up getting matured with hitting your 30s 40s 50s and even seeing like 70 80 90 like you know getting to the later part of life is actually a blessing i don't think people understand that i look forward to my 30s i look forward oh my god i am so thrilled anytime i think about my 30s my 40s i'm like what i'm gonna do like i'm so excited because your life does not end in your 20s i know this female this particular lady might be talking from a different aspect entirely but even in other aspects i do see people have these conversations like if an older lady like someone is maybe 29 is talking to someone that's 21 and then you'll be hearing things like oh my god you're too old like does this make sense does this actually make sense to you because i honestly cannot believe it does i i honestly cannot believe it does i genuinely feel like people are chasing clout because Tell me what else. What else can it be? You think that being being 30 is is old. You think you're better than someone that is 30. Okay. Okay. I see. This is why pressure choke people in their 20s. This is why it has refused to let go. Because you have chained yourself with this mentality. You have used your own hand and put yourself in problem. You know that if you're in your 20s and you don't have a car, you don't have your own house, it is okay. You know that, right? You're not backwards. Your life has not ended. Like, you still have a long way to go. Like, you can still achieve all your goals. You know that you can still achieve your goals at 30. I, I, I want to believe that you actually know that. Because this is the problem. This is why society is getting even crazier than it. This is why there's no shame. This is why people can stay on the internet and do questionable things and be very, very 
very proud of it. Like, I will be on the internet, I will look at someone that is just 19, 19, and the, like, when I listen to what the person will be saying, like, I'll be like, girl, what, what's going on? Like, what's, what's really happening? Ah, oh, you don't have to have it all at 21. No, I don't know. Life is actually a journey. And it breaks my heart, really, that people don't want to live life. Like, you want to live life around an age limit. Like, you yourself, you have, you have put an age limit to your own life, to your own capability, to your own capacity. Do you understand that long life is the only blessing in the Ten Commandments? So, like, it's actually a big deal for you to grow old. It's actually a big deal for you to live to your life's full span. Right, if I'm saying it correctly, it's actually a big deal for you to live long. So the fact that you have caged yourself to your 20s, you think that, oh my God, I need to do every single thing in my 20s. If I'm not doing it, I can't get married in my 30s. If I'm not doing this, I cannot do it. It's so sad and it's so heartbreaking. You're not living life. You're not enjoying your 20s. You're not doing things that is supposed to be. Your 20s is your growing stage. You're supposed to discover yourself. If at 25, you're still trying to find your career path, it is absolutely okay. I don't know what the internet is telling you. I know I'm on the internet. But it is absolutely okay. Okay? It is very okay. You are still going to discover yourself. Your life does not end in your 20s. Life is a journey. Life is in phases. You're supposed to experience it all. So if you circle and push everything into your 20s, what are you looking up to? What are you looking forward to? What is the point of your 30s? What is the point of your 40s? Like, life is a journey, okay? And this pressure, I know there, there's actually a different part of it because some people now feel like, oh my God, if you get to your 30s, you're not allowed to do certain things. We'll get to that. But for my ladies in our 20s, please, your life does not end here. If you're still trying to figure things out, you are doing the right thing. You're on the, you're on the right path. You're very okay. You're very normal. You're not backwards. You're not nothing. You don't have to think everything. You have to find a man at 21. You have to do this. You have to, This is the only time you're attractive. Let's just try to fix this mentality, okay? This is something that I feel like patriarchy has kind of put in us. Because I know, yes, biology is there. You cannot come and if you want to bring that up. Yes, I know. Yes. Biology says that, okay, maybe you need to, at a certain age in your 50s, you cannot do this. Yes, I know that, but that is besides the point. Because now, it's not even when you get to your 50s, it's now when you're in your 20s. And then you now also feel like you're better than someone in their 30s? No. No, that is a wrong mentality, and it needs to be fixed. It actually needs to be corrected. Please, if you're in your 20s, don't allow them to pressure you, okay? If you're in your 20s, your 30s, Please do not be pressured or don't let the pressure get to you. Yes, you're a human being. I'm a human being. Sometimes you see certain things, you're like, yeah, yes. But where you are, you're not backwards. And no, you don't lose all sense of attractiveness as a female once you hit 30. No, that doesn't. I don't know. I don't know who made people think that way. There are people in their 40s who are absolutely beautiful, who even look more stunning than people in their 20s. So don't think that the older I get, ah, it's over for me. My this is I'm no longer attractive. I'm no longer beautiful. I'm no longer this. No. And then the worst part is that you know, being a woman is actually very sad sometimes because sometimes you can't win. You're young, problem. You're old, problem. There are people who are in their forties who are very beautiful, who are stunning and well taken care of, who love dressing up, who love taking care of themselves, and yet you see females. It's still females. Will be us they'll be in their comments oh we'll have the gods to tell them that oh you're too old for this eh? wow thank you timekeeper age keeper i didn't know that you now keep the age for things that can be done thank you very much for reminding us of your job description on this planet earth hey god i will see comments of people like you see a woman walking out in her 40s trying to be fit trying to you know shop look a certain like just look beautiful and dress the way she likes and then you see people saying she's too old for this she's too old for what, what do you actually mean by that please there is no age limit to anything yes i said it yes let's leave biology and giving birth and those ones just leave that that is not the conversation today 
the conversation is what you can and cannot do at a certain age as a female 20s you're just stepping into adulting this is the time to discover yourself this is the time to start businesses and stop this is the time to discover what you're actually interested in you're just starting you understand your teen your teenage life was basically preparing you for adulting so 20s is like the soft landing this is the first step so everything doesn't happen in your 20s and you're not better than someone in their 30s no you are not and no you don't look more beautiful than someone in their 30s you're not more attractive to men because you're in your 20s i know that there's a conversation around that maybe another day i'll talk about it but for today i'm here to talk about girls who automatically think they are better more beautiful or more attractive than a female in their 30s that's what i'm here to talk about please drop this mentality fix it okay and if peer pressure <laughs> pressure wants to choke you it wants to choke you in your 20s I think the first step is to realize that everything does not have to happen in your 20s. That's the first step, okay? This is the first way to drop that, to reduce that pressure, is to remind yourself, to remember that my 20s is just a phase. And it's a phase to find myself, to build my income, to get financially independent, to get my house, to get this, to get that. I, it's, you know, I'm trying to acquire those things. My 30s, I will continue and I will also be reaping the fruits of my 20s. Do you understand? It's a journey and it doesn't happen. It happens differently for everyone. Some people, yes, at 21, they already have certain things. They already have a car. They have this. But no, it's not It's not for everybody. It's not normal. So make it look like, I think the thing, eh, the internet makes it look like at 21, if you don't have a car, you don't have certain X amount of wigs. If you don't have X amount of bags. If you've not traveled to a social, social country, like you're not normal, like your own life, God did not love you when he was creating you. But no, it's not. People actually don't realize that everybody did not start the same way. And most people did not come from rich homes. Yes, most people had to struggle. Most people had to start by themselves. Most people did not have a support system. So how can you compare yourself to someone who has all that? People don't even remember that all fingers are not equal. <laughs> I don't think we might remember those things. So why do you think that at 21, you're better or you, this is the time to do everything and achieve everything and if I don't achieve it past in this phase of my life, it is over. Wrong. Wrong mentality and we need to drop it. Let us just drop this mentality for our own sake. Okay? It's not a good mentality. Patriarchy or not patriarchy. The men don't do it. The men will not be the ones that will come and say things like that. It's the girls. It's us. And this thing indirectly affects us, the way we see life, the way we do things. It makes us want to grab and grab and grab. We don't even take time to breathe. We don't take time to live life because we are constantly in a struggle to achieve everything in one year. So if you achieve everything in one year, what will happen in your test? What will happen in your thoughts? What will happen in your future? What's happen, like, remember that it's a face it really is so guys that's basically what i wanted to talk about i don't want this video to be long or lengthy i just wanted to come in here and remind you guys that your life does not end in your 20s also you are not better than someone in their 30s please if you're older if you're in your 30s or the older you get or maybe you're approaching your mid um your late 20s you now think that i'm no longer attractive i'm no longer beautiful men would prefer drop that mentality that's just just drop it live life you're beautiful you're gorgeous 30 40 what makes you beautiful is the work you put into yourself that is what keeps you beautiful because you're already beautiful that's how god made you god made you beautiful that's so that that one is already set today so what keeps you beautiful is the work you actually put into yourself exercising building your spiritual life you know building your financial life as well chasing your dreams finding yourself, building your character as a human being, being a good person, a kind and good person. That is what keeps you beautiful, not your age, please. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me your comments in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Let's talk. I want to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Like the video, it helps, okay? And also subscribe to this channel if you have not. Share this video to your friends, share your socials, tag me. My handle is on the screen. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.